reported it, but this tornado ripped down trees, it snapped power lines, and it halted lots of traffic. The United States National Weather Service is warning that more tornadoes may threaten the area. Deep Blue, the IBM computer, isn't exactly celebrating its victory in a six-game chess match against world champion Gary Kasparov, at least not that we know. But CNN's Gary Tuckman reports the loser's reaction is very human. What is the more surprising story? That the man was beaten by the machine? Or that the man was psychologically intimidated by the machine? I, you know, I proved to be vulnerable. So, you know, when I see something that is well beyond my understanding, I'm scared. And that was something well beyond my understanding. Gary Kasparov looked like you might expect him to look after he won game one versus the Deep Blue supercomputer. But after he lost the final game, he looked like a man whose mind had been temporarily scarred. And whoa! Deep Blue Kasparov, after the move C4, has resigned. It took non-human Deep Blue to make a chess legend look very human. We chess players, we always thought that our intuition, our creativity, was over uh, the possibilities of any machine. And, well, now everybody realized that uh, the future was not so far beyond. It was just, future is now. Miguel Yescas is a chess grandmaster who helped program IBM's Deep Blue. And he reminds us of a crucial point if you're now concerned that machines are ready to take over the world. Machines are quite stupid if, they, if there are not somebody who tells them what to do. Nevertheless, many chess enthusiasts, like those here at the Manhattan Chess Club, thought it was important from a public relations standpoint for man to overcome machine. I don't want to uh, see another uh, experience like what happened with checkers. The machine came and beat all the champion and after that the game went down. But even among those savoring the deep blue victory, there is the recommendation not to look at this too symbolically. This is really not about man versus machine. This is really about how we humans use technology to solve difficult problems. It's certainly understandable that Gary Kasparov would be quite upset about losing this intensely publicized match. But in reality, he did not lose to a machine. He lost to some very intelligent people who programmed a machine. Gary Tuckman, CNN, New York. That's one way to look at it, but people are going to be talking about this one for a long time.